What's up guys, James Palms here. Today we're doing a video on a little sort of question, uh, what's gonna happen sort of thing. So basically, this is a, a Washingtonia Robusta. It's looking really good. But uh, when I came over, I have uh, fungus gnats. You can see there's little bits of fungus and stuff. I'm getting, getting, uh, we've been getting more rain now. And uh, even if you don't get a ton of rain, because they're outside just sitting here, they get bugs, uh, mostly gnats and things that lay their eggs right on the top uh, surface. They don't really interfere with the plant growing at all. But there's fungus here, it's not good. And uh, you know, sometimes I'm guessing, I haven't lost any plants, but sometimes you can lose plants for fungus. And some people are definitely having those problems. So this is a, a Mexican fan palm, palm tree. So basically this video is what's gonna happen if I water some of these plants with hydrogen peroxide. So basically, I just watered a couple of these and I'm just gonna do one on the video here. I'm gonna go, uh, basically I'm gonna, I'll mark this one afterwards. I'm gonna put a number on it or something. It's gonna be number one, I guess. I'm basically just gonna put, I'm only gonna water it with hydrogen peroxide. Uh, maybe I'll mix hydrogen peroxide with a bit of water. This is what I'm using. From what I understand is this is 3% and there are other 97% is hydrogen is water anyways. Uh, so I am sure it'll still get water and I'm just gonna see if it has any benefit. Uh, if it, one, if it kills away the fungus gnats and two, if it gets rid of the fungus. Um, the fungus is only in the top few inches. There's, there will be no fungus down on the roots or anything, but it won't hurt to try. So let's, uh, let's just water it here right now on the video and uh, I'll do an update video on this. Let's see what happens. So we're basically just gonna dump her in. And uh, you can see it fizzling and foaming. So you can definitely see there was lots of fungus there. And I'm assuming if there's any bugs in there, because I seen a bug on here, this is why I grabbed this one, because I seen a fungus gnat on the soil when I grabbed it. So they're really tiny, they have to look closely, but we'll basically just do that, and I'll see what happens. And uh, I'll keep guys updated on this, and if the plant lights it, uh, if, it if it changes anything, if it, if it, I don't think it'll kill it, because uh, I don't think hydrogen peroxide will really hurt anything. Um, I know some people think it does. Like I know before I've told them that I've dumped it in the crowns before to keep off fungus and people go, hydrogen peroxide in the crown of the palm, that sounds deadly. But uh, this palm tree right here had transplant shock and that's actually how I, uh, how I got it growing again is I jabbed a stick down there, pulled out all the old parts of the spheres and, uh, and freed it up, poked around with the stick and, uh, and poured hydrogen peroxide in the crown. And as you can see, this baby is, is growing, it's growing seed right now, but it's it's flushing out leaves just steady. It's produced you know, seven or eight, eight fronds this season here. So anyways, thanks for watching guys. I'll keep you updated later.